production possibility frontier is PPF, right? And this PPF actually shows the combination of two goods that an economy can pr possibly produce given the available resources and available technology. So for this PPF, it first has three assumptions. So those three assumptions will be only two goods because it shows the two goods product, uh, com combination and then it shows we should have a fixed resources. And we also have only fixed technology. So I would like to talk about this PPF through an example. And this example is actually on our slides. We assume there is only two goods, right? In our example from the test book or from our slides. We assume there is only two goods. We have computer and we have weight, right? Computer is measured by one computer by unit. Weights are measured by ton, okay? And then we only have one resource. And this one resource is fixed, which will have 50,000 labor hours. So we only have 50,000 labor hours available. And we also have the fixed technology. So we have tech, Technology. So for the technology, it tells us produce one computer. We need to put 100 labor hours to produce one computer and produce one ton of the weight here. I just simplify as one weight is actually one ton of the weight needs 10 labor hours. Okay, so those are the given information. And based on those given information, we need to draw a PPF. So how can we draw a PPF and how can we use the PPF to compute the opportunity cost? So based on this, then we assume this PPF now has is a straight line. Okay, so there is a quick way to draw a PPF. I would like to show you here. Okay, so here you can notice I have a graph and I can put the computer here. You can also put a weight here, okay? It doesn't matter what type of the goods you would like to put it on horizontal axis. So I can put computer here and I can put weight on the vertical axis. And now we need to find two points, okay? So the first point I want to find out is the maximum amount of the computers that this economy can produce. So we know producing one computer needs 100 labor hours. So if all the labor hours just use in computers production, and then we can find out totally, we can have 50,000 labor hours just using computers production, which will give us 500 computers, okay? And for the weight, you can also notice one ton of the weight needs 10 labor hours, right? So we can also find out the maximum amount of the weight that this economy can produce. So we will just use all the labor hours here to produce weight. Then we can have 5,000 tons of weight available if we just use all the labor hours to produce weight. Then link these two dots here, we can have our PPF. So this curve or this straight line here will represent for PPF, okay? So this is how we can draw the PPF quickly based on the given information. What you need to do is just find out the point where we can have the maximum amount of the computers being produced by the economy. And another point will be the maximum amount of the weight that economy can be produced. Then link these two dots, we can have our PPF. And as we talked about before, any points on the PPF, any points on the PPF, such as point eight here, it will fully utilize all the resources, okay? Any points inside the PPF, for example, point B here, 
this point B is possibly for this economy to produce. However, this point B is not efficient because point B here cannot fully use all the resources. And we might have another point here, point C. So point C here is already outside this PPF, which means based on the given resources and technology, it is impossible for the economy to produce at point C, okay? So those are the things about PPF. I hope you can have more understanding or better understanding about PPF after my explanations.